Hey y'all, we up and through. We finna get on ahead into this DF Tarot Tea. If you like what you see, please make sure to go ahead, like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell if you want to be here every time I'm up in the building. Y'all, we finna go ahead and read. Somebody has a masculine that just cannot seem to stay faithful, okay? Um, we've all seen it a million times before. Um, and we're about to just look into this. Where is this coming from? What's the situation? Listen, okay? What's going on? We come out the gate with the high priestess. First and foremost, girl, you are a divine feminine, okay? So this man is just, we know right now that He's functioning at a lower spiritual frequency than you. He's not able to control his urges. However, you are very patient. Four of Swords. Okay. We're seeing a very patient divine feminine uh, energy that's coming up on the board. Very patient. Very graceful. Also very optimistic. You know, just one that always believes that things can get better. Star energy. Things can be be uh, illuminated in any moment in your mind and in your heart to see the best in him, to see the best in this situation, to see the best in y'all's family and in y'all's relationship. Um, however, there is some judgment and awakening coming to this relationship. Okay, so prepare yourself because this man has been out here uh, just not being his best self. And this has allowed some tricks and some nonsense to make it into what for you would be a very um high energy relationship you know a relationship where you would have peace and keep things above board this man and his tricks has kind of allowed a few demons to make it into the room in a situation that just would normally not be the case because you believe more in the sanctity of a relationship okay these tricks have been given entryway what did i say we see eight of cups energy it's as though his his behaviors have kind of torn kind of torn open a hole in dimensions, okay? And just kind of allow some demons in that we see would otherwise have no access to you, High Priestess. The door had to be made, okay? The Eight of Cups came right on top of the High Priestess. The door had to be made for these entities to even get near you because you live a high-frequency lifestyle. That's just a fact, okay? Queen of Cups, right after the Four of Cups, um, this man has inadvertently kind of refused the sweetness and the high frequency love that you have offered him. If he decides to go ahead and be who you're asking of him to be, you guys would move into a higher frequency because you're a mothering and nurturing energy. Again, we're getting the same message because we have this queen of cups jumping right up on us from right on top of the star. So we're seeing a, a very sweet and comforting energy from you, somebody that wants to believe, somebody that wants him to get better, somebody that knows that this relationship could work if he would just stop all this humbugging and bullshitting, okay? And he just is not able to do that. Three of Pentacles energy, this particular time, whatever it is he has done, has gone out into the community. So we are seeing the rumors. We're seeing the embarrassment. We are seeing the onlookers. We are seeing you hurt. We are seeing you feeling away this time around, Nine of Wands energy, because he has gotten out here with his bullshit and his tricks. Nine of Wands came through right on top of the magician. Okay, so his tricks have caused some injury this time, some embarrassment this time, some mourning for you this time. Five of Wands is Five of Wands is coming through right on the side that's on top of the High Priestess. This man has caused you some hurt. What did I just say? Three of Swords energy. Okay, he's causing hurt now. He's causing hurt to the family, maybe even your mother I'm hearing this time because he's just doing too much, okay? It's gotten to be too much. He's out here being too carnal, too worldly. He's bringing things full circle. What he's doing outside is making his way back into the inside and that's a problem. That's a serious problem, okay? He's creating a situation where he's basically getting himself in situations that he won't necessarily be able to get himself out of. He's creating delays in y'all's relationship. He's creating delays in y'all's intimacy. He's creating delays in y'all's stability. He's creating problems for y'all selves, for the relationship as a whole, for your family as a whole, okay? There's a queen of wands now that is coming to the picture. And I'm going to tell you something. You might be pissed off and mad at this other woman and feel like Oh, he got this other woman and who is she? Da, 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 da. But I'm going to tell you something. This is a nice lady, okay? And she's been led astray by him and his lies and his trick. We see tricks. We see this is right on top of the magician's energy. This is a nice lady. 
This ain't no bad woman. This man has manipulated this woman and now she is sitting there in the middle of y'all's relationship. And I'm going to tell you, she's hoping that he leaves you and comes to her. And it's not because she's a bad person. It's because he done led her to believe some shit. Okay? Six of Wands energy. But we do see a victory coming to you. Uh, high Priestess energy. We do see a victory coming to you, okay? But don't sit back and be mad at this Queen of Wands. She hasn't done nothing to nobody. We see a victory coming to you when you decide that you're going to put your foot down, okay? We see you you having an energy shift, Queen of Swords energy coming through you. And Queen of Swords energy to me, in this instance, is the moment where you draw your sword and your words shift. And your words are about to cut through the energy field, the toroidal field. And it's about to change everything that's going on in this situation, you are about to create a total disruption to this situation and the direction that it is going in. Because remember, you are a divine feminine and you are in high priestess energy and you are about to speak with strength. OK, this man only ever knows you to come with star energy, queen of cups energy. And you're about to speak with some strength because this man has done too much. He has been too foolish. He's been reckless. He's been engaging in nothing but folly. This man is very immature. OK, this man is so immature that he started a new relationship with another woman. OK, inadvertently, just with his lies, just with his bullshit. And I'm getting the, the impression this woman must be pregnant or something that he's not able to get out of because he's inadvertently started a new relationship. OK, and this is the point where you stand your ground, seven of wands and make the transition, six of swords, because you see now that this man is just too damn childish and he's not able to stop with the fuckery. I'm going to tell you right now, he's not able to stop. This relationship for you has transitioned into nothing but hard work, stress, heartbreak, and nightmares. Okay, and this is where you stand up for yourself in this Seven of Wands energy. You've had enough. Seven of Swords. You've had enough of his sneaking around and lying. We see on this side, the whole story is playing out. We see the magician. We see the Nine of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the, the Seven of Swords. This man has snuck around. OK, he has hurt you. He has played tricks. He has hurt this woman and inadvertently now drags her into his shit. And, and this lady, she's not a bad lady, y'all. This is a compassionate lady. This lady is scared now. This lady is scared to death because she's been drugged into some bullshit. Seven of Swords, the lovers, by this cheating ass masculine. She had no idea. She had no idea. OK, Ace of Cups. She had no idea. This lady's love runs over. She overflows with love for this man. And it's all been a lie. It's all been a lie. It's all been about his sex drive. Sex drive. And there's three other women where she comes from. This man is a sex addict. He can't stop. He can't stop. And this woman, is. she's a lot like you where she's been optimistic. She's been optimistic. Okay. She's been optimistic. Believing for the best. Not realizing this man is way further gone than any of y'all could have imagined in terms of his sexual appetite and his honesty. Okay. He's way further gone than y'all could have imagined. And now the tides are turning on his goofy ass. Will of Fortune. Okay. The tides are turning. I'm telling you, he's way further gone than y'all ever would have thought. Three of Wands. The tides are turning and we're looking towards the future for him now. And y'all saw the tower, the tower just come in here and slap him up in the face. I know y'all see that. Okay. Now that this man has made this mess, we see him going into a state of mental confusion, decline, um, dark night of the soul, let down, setbacks. Um, I'm seeing, I'm seeing flat out. This man is going to go into, I'm just seeing him going into a state of mental decline. It's the only way I know how to describe it because this man is about to say to himself, how did I get here? Right behind this, we pulled a death card energy. I'm literally seeing a curtain drop over this man. He's going into a dark, he's going into a dark place. He's going into a dark place. Yeah, he's going into a dark place. He's going into a dark place and he's pretty much going to tip his hat to both of you ladies. And by that, I mean, in terms of him being present mentally, this man is about to kind of excuse himself mentally. If you know what I'm saying, this man is about to get into a place of automatic pilot 
where he's really not going to be present for anybody. This man has a new baby coming. He's not really going to be 100% present for that. Um, his communication is going to become delusional. This man has had a bit of a breakdown behind this, behind this baby that he didn't realize he was making. All of these women are angry at him. You have dis dis uh, disassociated yourself and everybody is disappointed. Even his own mother is disappointed with him right now. The women who have raised him are disappointed with him right now. Okay. And this man has going into a bit of a soft mental breakdown is and now he's speaking from delusion get prepared because this man is in a whole shit show and he's going to be acting like everything is fine because he's in a bit of a breakdown okay two of wands he's about to start making plans that are based on self-defense you know how do i kind of get out of this He's about to really let people down, especially this woman that was really taken advantage of by his lies and him presenting himself to be someone that he wasn't. This queen of wands, ace of wands, who trusted this fool and is now about to basically be in a situation with somebody that she is going to have to put on some type of child support because he's not going to stand up for what he's supposed to do. He's checked out, y'all. He's checked out. He's not going to do what he's supposed to do. Page of wands. The message in all of this is this man, this king of wands, what I say, he's going to have to get put on papers, okay? He's, and he's also got karma coming to him for what he's done. He was out here playing so many games. And now that he's caught, he's about to go into a boyish place of shame. Y'all are about to see it in his psyche. Y'all are about to see it in his demeanor. Y'all are about to see it in everything that he does. And he's going to use it to distance himself and not take accountability for the people he's hurt, the mothers he's embarrassed, the grandmama he's disappointed. He's about to take all of this and just make it like I'm not taking accountability. You know, that was during the period of time that I was overworked. That was during the period of time that I was drinking too much. We're about to see all of them type of lies come through the building. However, Divine Feminine, I do see you picking up and being responsible for yourself and holding your own Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Swords energy. Um, I do see you being very angry, but not even that hurt. You are a woman that really understands how to be accountable you do, okay? And you're going to be able to say, you know what? I'm not going to sit in this with you. I believed in you until I saw that I should not have believed in you. And you're going to pick up your cross and you're going to do what you need to do for you. He's not going to have you broken down. You're not that type of woman. You are going to stand in your high priestess energy. You're going to stand in empress energy, okay? He is going to try to make you some half-ass offering, to keep you in the picture, I get the picture, the uh, the vibe that the offering that he offers you is going to be offensive to you because he has shown himself to be of such piss poor character. You're in a state of mind now of like, I know you don't think you could show me you are a liar and a snake and think that there's anything you could offer me that I give a damn about. Okay, that's where you at. Knight of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Okay, that's where you're at with it. Um, he's gonna, I'm telling you, he's in a delusional ass space. He still think he one of them guys and he's gonna try to kind of still stand in that, hey, I'm one of them guys energy. And in reality, he's about to go into a place of kind of not self-imposed exile, okay? He's gonna be kicked out of your life. He's let this woman down that's having this baby so bad. She's going to be, he's going to be kicked out of her life. And this man is about to go into hobosexual mode, okay? He's going to try to Romeo his way into other women's lives because you have to remember this man is not willing to or even mentally able to right now accept the fact that he's the type of man that screwed up to this, this degree. He's a sex addict. He's a liar. He's childish. This is not something he is in this moment able to admit. Queen of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. So he's going to go find a woman that's grounded, okay, because he's financially insecure. So he's going to go find a woman that's grounded, that is financially grounded and secure because he's insecure. And he's going to try to take an offering from her, okay? That's, that's the way he's going to deal with it. He's going to try to get another love situation going, okay? He's going to try to make another fucking mess. Y'all see this Ten of Swords? This man is a mess. And it's too bad because the, the energy that I'm getting, I'm seeing a man that he may be a kind of small man for whoever knows him. I don't mean small like Prince is small, y'all. Prince is small. You know, Prince was small, God rest his soul. Prince was like Lil' Kim small. I don't mean that type of small, but like Lorenz Tate small. You know, a nice looking man. 
and he's been able to really finesse and 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 um charm women with good looks he's a kind of small guy he doesn't seem very intimidating i'm seeing somebody with really beautiful eyes a nice sense of humor maybe long lashes nice white teeth and he's really been able to get by on women with this unassuming charm and he's going to really, this womanizer spirit that is on him is really about to take him into a place where he's going to be making a lot of messes, okay? It's come to that point, okay? Where there's nothing but messes that's going to be around him. And he's about to get to a place where that's all that's going to be left. Two of swords energy. He's not going to be able to see his way out of, that, out of this, okay? Um, he's going to try to marry one of these women, okay? You're going to hear that. He's going to try to marry one of these women to get balance in his life, to restore balance to his, li his life. We see it again, the Hierophant. He's going to try to start making marriage. Remember I said hobosexual energy. And let me make it clear. This is what for this man is considered a swift fall from grace because this lust and this womanizing is something that's ruining this man's life. This man was headed in one direction. He had you, he had a good woman. It could have been one thing and he allowed his penis basically to control him. He's allowed lust to control him. So all of this for him is a swift fall from grace. He's allowed sex addiction to basically turn him into a homosexual, a loser, a baby daddy that, that doesn't even take care of his children. He's allowed this to happen to him. So this man is going into what would be considered a swift fall from grace. He's going into judgment. He's going into karma. He's going into being everybody's karmic. Okay. He's doing that. He is going into a space where he's just kind of what you would call bad news. Um, four of Wands, Temperance, the Hierophant. This man is about to try to possibly try to engage, be engaged to two different women to see which one works out. We literally see him trying to balance himself between the Four of Wands and the Hierophant. How does that work? And then we see the devil. So we see that he has become this demonic where he's going to just simply, you know, he's, he's going to try to womanize his way to success. So he's a damn fool. Okay. Eight of Swords, this is blocked for him, by the way. This is not going to work. This whole, I'm going to homosexual my way to being one of those guys. No, bro, it's not. It's not going to work. Ace of Swords, Divine Mother agrees. Yes, that's true. It is not going to work for him. Okay, but this is what he's going to try to do. He's also going to start trying to hoard his own resources and give very little to the women in his life to take advantage of them. Six of Cups energy. This man is basically looking for a provider at this point. Um, and a lot of this is going to come behind him being crushed under this child support situation that he's creating for himself right now. So this man is creating his karma right now, just as you are walking out the door. But this man has been creating his karma even before that. OK, and then it's going to continue to manifest as you walk out of the door. This man's sexual impulses have been creating his karma the entire time. Six of pentacles, ten of pentacles. This man wished for a legacy. That was his goal. That was his hope. Um, initially, this was his destiny. Six of pentacles, ten of pentacles, the emperor. Ooh, excuse me, y'all. Okay. And to, to my point, he made a blunder. Okay, he made a blunder and he ended up in five of swords energy when he began to betray the women in his life. Five of wands, okay? When he began to betray the women in his life, fight the women in his life and get into this womanizer energy. Five of wands, knight of cups. When he stepped into this womanizer energy um, and got into this egotistical kind of karmic narc vibe, um, allowed himself to fall into his lower self is basically what happened in a nutshell. And he became someone that was only after prizes for self. We see that with this Ace of Pentacles energy. Um, he created a negative for himself. And this is an ancestor of his, by the way, the Herman energy. This is an ancestor of his that's allowing him to take this tumble. Okay. This man had protection because he was, as we saw, he was set up for success. Okay, and he created this karma and his ancestors have gotten out of the way and they are allowing him to hit the wall. He was set up for success. Two of cups, the, the seven of pentacles, ten of cups. This is what he was set up for. Nine of cups. Okay, ten of wands. He's created a burden that is sitting on top of all of this. He created this ten of wands burdens for himself himself. Because he was set up for success, um, I also get the vibe that he was, this is a very spoiled masculine energy, maybe by the women in his family. 
and he's made he's 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 ruined himself in every sense of the word with this 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 sense of entitlement that he had towards women um but you got the hell out the way that's what we wanted that's all we really cared about um you're creating your own harvest we do see that you've moved on you do have a lover coming to you feminine you have a family coming you have a pregnancy coming in the next three years okay you don't really have to worry about him and his shit okay this man is done you have somebody coming into your life okay that has the same qualities of the knighthood chivalrous generous all the things this man was not okay the only concern you have right now you should focus on getting your own house buying your own house and setting up your own situation don't worry about that fool no more you had the sense to move on and know that he's going downhill you may see him again in some years he's only going to be further down than he is now and another vibe that i'm getting from him this is only one of the, of as far as his children and baby mamas go she won't be the first or the last. I mean, she won't be. She's she's the first, but she won't be the last. <sighs> if you enjoyed this Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, please, y'all, go ahead, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to catch me in the next one. And as always, okay, I will catch y'all in the next one.